everybody. It's Steve, Nina, and Hannah, my mama. We are going out um, thrift shopping today, and we will show you everything when we get back to the house. Okay, and this one I'm doing a voiceover because they have music playing. Mom's being silly saying she found her some nice forks and everything. But we had a great day spending the day with Mom today, and we love going thrifting with her. She always finds good deals usually. Love my mama. Eating here at Wendy's. Mom got a junior sandwich and fries, and she didn't even... She couldn't even eat the fries. I think, are we going to stop anywhere else? I got a little bit of money left. <laughs> <laughs> we heading home? I don't know. Who knows? I like to go over there on, when we get that buttermilk at the thrift store on Park Avenue. Mm. We can look there and then I can stop and get me a quart of milk and come home and have it for my cornbread. Okay. Well, you think I'm your personal chauffeur or what? Well, yeah, for the day. For the day. Steve, you've always been. Yeah, <laughs> no, you spoiled me now. <laughs> Chummy spoiled. Yeah. Chummy's working. That's why he's not with us. Yeah. Okay, let's see Somebody what else. I've got to work and make some money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us. run around with. <laughs> oh, okay, we'll be back. Hey, let me show you one of the things. Willow's not sure about it. Here, it's got a little button in here. Oh, it's tail legs. She's running and hiding. Oh, how cute. Anyway, we got this for Macy. It's got the little blanket, the saddle. It's in really cute, nice shape. It's got two of the little stirrups, and it's a rocker. And it was uh, $4.99. Here's the price down there. You can see it or not. I thought it was so cute. It's got the, the wooden handles here. It's got something they can put their little hand through. And then it's also got the regular. I thought the, the um, horse might do something when you pull that, the way the head moves. But yeah, so Willow's checking it all out, aren't you, girly? Huh? Yeah. Okay, we'll show you what else we found. That's so goofy. That little round thing was like the type, I don't know what they're called. I'm not a, Willow, hush. I'm not a horse person, but like the muzzle type of thingy. It goes around here. Okay, show you what else that we found. I thought these were adorable. Salt and pepper shakers. I'll just show you the one because the other one looks exactly the same. Except for the little holes on top, of course. But I don't know if I ever told you guys or not. I'm sure I did. Um, I used to collect piggies, pink pigs. And I had, this is when we lived out in the country. And I had um, the kitchen, the bottom part of the kitchen was that fake brick stuff. And I had painted that a real pretty brown. And then um, the top part of it, I painted a real light pink. And the cabinets were all painted white. I did all that, too. That's when I used to be able to work really, really good. Anyway, um, I used to have a great big pig cookie jar that looked exactly like this. And so when I seen these, I thought, oh, I wish I would have kept all that piggy stuff now. Because it's I could do like a farm, a farm theme. So I got the set of those. I think that's all that's in that bag. And then, this here, they used, I got a, um, I thought it was beautiful, a, um, what is in the world are these called? Scarf. Scarf. But I'm going to wash it. But it's got... All the colors that I like to wear, all butterflies. I thought that was so pretty. So I'm going to wash that. That was like $1.50, I think. And then we got this, and it's filthy dirty. But this is um, actually a McCoy 
and these things are not cheap if you go to price these on any type of a like eBay or whatever I actually have the exact same one in the kitchen and so when Steve seen this one he was like oh isn't this the type of stuff that you like and I said yeah I love them and he goes showed it to me and I was like well we have that exact same one it, it was actually my dad and mom's and they gave it to me but the only thing wrong on this one is it's got a, a slight little chip there and that might make the the amount of it um, not be as high but I thought if I clean this up and maybe I could you know sell it get at least I know they're running if you look on like eBay and them they run like I think fifty sixty dollars so I thought even if I could put it online and get twenty twenty five or something that would be worth it I think oh right here pay three ninety nine that's how people do those uh, those sites that they do they can go and get sometimes you get lucky and you'll find some good deals uh, we went to how many places today three three different um, thrift stores today and that was um, the only things that we found now mom got she found some shoes and I'm not sure what all she found a real pretty dish but I'm, I mainly just wanted to go and look and see if we could find anything for like Valentine's Day to decorate with I did not see one thing that was for Valentine's Day I'm like people aren't getting rid of stuff the way they you know I thought they would um, I know a lot of people get rid of like Christmas stuff before, way before Christmas, and then they'll want to go out and buy more, or they'll wait till right after Christmas, but we haven't had no luck this year finding uh, good deals like that, but that's okay. We did find some good deals today, and I think that little horse is going to be adorable when Macy's big enough to ride on that. I thought it was so cute. And I didn't even know it made that noise until we got it home. And I was taking the tag out of the ear. And all of a sudden, it started making that sound. And Willow was right here. And she went running for Steve. It was so cute. I wanted to show you guys what Steve walked over to a store. We were in another little town, Ashland, Ohio. They have a Hawkins there. And we don't have a Hawkins where we are at anymore. And... He went over and got these donuts. Well, first of all, they're for the men's meeting tonight at church. And he wanted to get the donuts. And I was like, sure. So he already ate one, looks like. <laughs> That's all and, I'm eating. It's one. <laughs> okay. So he said, you want a donut? Man, I want one of these so bad. I got you maple. I made sure I got a maple one for you. So <laughs> what I might do <laughs> is take just a bite. Maybe two. I don't like maple, though. Well, there's two maple, and I'm definitely not eating two. And I'm definitely not eating a whole one, even. So I'm sure the people at church will, even if there's a half a donut, one of them men well, we'll will eat it. Here and okay. <laughs> oh, I'll just man. Take it's, ten. <laughs> I told him it's like a, a drug addict, you guys, because if you are a sugar lover, and these donuts, Steve, are they not? <laughs> they are the best. They Your are. mom don't like them because they got too much cream filling in the middle. And I'm like, you can never have <laughs> too much cream <laughs> filling in a donut. So, yeah. <laughs> All righty. Okay, so I've got laundry to do. Thought I would just have you guys come in here with me for a few minutes. Um, we have... The new flooring for the laundry room and because right now it's just a concrete floor out here this used to be a porch and before my mom and dad bought this house 35 36 years ago um, it had already been turned into a laundry area and the house is small it's um, around what 900 square feet so we actually have, let me get her something to quiet her down. Okay. So anyway, um, because, because the house is so small, we have our clothes hanging out here instead of in the closet that's in our bedroom. 
the closet that's in the bedroom is a very small closet. You know, back when houses made, I think this house was built, I think in the early 50s. Well, anyway, um, it doesn't have a very big closet. So this is actually really, really nice for us to be able to hang our clothes back here, which is what my mom did too. Um, we, it's got, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's got two nice big windows here and that's where we put the plastic on the outside. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the walls a real pale yellow, It'd be really bright in here, and put the new flooring down and then we're gonna rearrange some of the stuff that we've got in here. A lot of this stuff, like up on this little shelf and stuff, it all needs cleaned up. And then we don't have a lot of room in the kitchen, so we have like our, the bread maker, which we don't use hardly ever. Um, vacuum cleaner, a lot of stuff stored back behind these clothes. So we're gonna redo all that and um, let you guys see it when we get it all done. But I think it will be a lot brighter, a lot nicer in here, uh, having it, painted and having things moved around and you know how it is it's just been a long time that it's not been done mom got all of her stuff but when we brought ours from the basement up it's stuff that we use well not the bread maker but a lot of the things we have a shelf back there and a lot of the stuff on that shelf is things that we use all the time in the kitchen so we don't want to put all that in the basement and then having to be going up and down the steps every single time you want something, you know. So I think we're going to either, Steve talked about building um, shelves. And if we build some shelves in the back, we've got, like I said, a metal one back there about that big. But if we had shelves built all the way across the back, even though there is a window there behind the clothes, um, it would be really nice to have a whole big thing of shelves with a lot of space so that we could put heavier things. I don't like to keep my canners in the basement because of rust. So if we would do, do um, shelving back there. Huh. My washer just didn't. There we go. There it goes. Okay, but I'll show you around before we end up doing the um, the whole remodel of this room. But these little pictures here are the ones that I painted. This one is just of a dream of mine <laughs> to have a house and out in the country again and the clothesline. And this one I did in memory of my grandmother, my dad's mom. Um, but anyway, that's one reason we wanted... I'm just going to use the yellow paint that we were going to do the inside of the coop with because we didn't realize when I bought that yellow paint that the coop had the insulation board up on it so it didn't need anything on the inside. So I thought, you know, why waste that paint? And it's a really pretty pale yellow. Um, I'm just going to leave the curtains that we have up here. can't see them now, but they're just lacy curtains. And that would be really pretty bringing the sunshine in. And then when we get the new flooring in, um, here, let me turn you around here. So anyway, um, mom, when she got married, she left us her washer and dryer and they are new. Um, she had just got those not too long before she left and, you know, here and got married. But so we'll leave them here, but all back here, you're going to see, see all in here. That's all stuff that, and you can probably see the green shelving back there. That's what I was talking about. And we have this big dresser here full of Steve's clothes. And, yeah, we got a lot that we can, can work on. There's the door that goes to the outside. And then we have just um, this thing we use here as a, a pantry for our canned foods and stuff. And then we just have the coat hang or the clothes hanger thing pins up there and then we hang our coats back here and then this is where when you come into the kitchen this is the door that I'm wanting to get to take off and just store because of the pretty wall there that Steve built me out of real barn wood 
and I, you can't really see it because we leave this open all the time and you know that's all you really get to see so I'd like to have this off and therefore when Willow needs put out there we have this little gate here that we can put up there and she can't get back in especially like when we're eating and have company that you know she may not care for okay so that's really all we got for you guys today um, it's been a fabulous day in the high 40s. The sunshine has been absolutely beautiful. We're very really thankful for that. And I'm going to go pay attention to little Miss Willow because she's jealous. So everyone, have a great evening, and hopefully we'll talk to you tomorrow or the day after. Take care. Bye-bye.